Hello, on to match day number three now out in Italy. So things are starting to heat up as we had 13 games, a few catch up matches. So everyone's getting out of the way and playing a few games. So let's review those games and see how we got on with our predictions because I wore points based on the odds for the matches. So we have the likes of Tom O'Carver Carvalite to get involved in the series so far. So a big thank you to you guys. And also myself and the football simulator again involved every match day. And yeah, seeing how we get on. And um, yeah, the winner at the end of the season on the top of the leaderboard for all the different divisions and the European competitions that I do get to decide on a five minute video idea for me to go out and film for you guys. So who won the games last time round, you ask? So kicking things off, Atalanta took on Tuino and came away 4-2 winners. Gomez, Futo, Hadgoa and Woon get on the score sheet. For Tuino, Bellotti managed to get a brace. 18-7 shots and 7-4 on target for Atalanta. Benevito, the new club, managed to pick up a win here with a 3-2 win against Sandoria. Cardrola with a brace and set Set Tizzly, managing to get a late goal as well too. For St. Doria had Craig Awala and Cohen as well too. And more shots and more on target for Benevito. Lazio defeating Kegelari two goals to nil with Lazari and Immobile. 16 to 9 shots and 6 to 2 on target for Lazio. Entertaining match between Inter Milan and Florentina as they played at a 7 goal fuller. With Inter Milan ended up coming up on top 4 3 in the end. With Martinez, C. Twizzini, own goal, Lukaku, and Ambroso. A couple of late goals there to win it after coming from behind. 87th and 89th minute goals. For Valentina, they got off to a fast start with Kome scoring in the third minute. Kat Woverly and Chisa. Managed to give them a 3-2 three, three, leads, but unfortunately for them, unable to hand on. Sassuolo, 4-1 winners against Spiza. With Jusic, Buardi, Defrao and Capito. For Spiza, had Scholar, Banov. Verona, 1-0 winners against Udinese. And the goal scoring winner was... Favalili, Napoli destroying Genoa, 6 goals to nil, with Lazzinio with a brace, had Suzlinski, Mertens, Emus and Polonito, AC Milan 2 nil winners against Croton, Kezi with a penalty kick, Diaz on the score sheet too, Woma and Juventus 2-2 draw, Fu Watts scoring both of Woma's goals, and good old Ronaldo managed to score both of Juventus' goals and managed to get one when they were down to 10 men after Wabot got sent off in the 62nd minute. But could always rely on Cristiano Ronaldo to get them out of trouble. Bologna 4 1 winners against Parma. Sorino with a brace, Osun as well as Palacio for Parma Jr. and in company and now on to the catch-up games there which was played today Spiza the new club two new winners against Udinese Galabinov with both of the goals and they were down to 10 men as well too with two Sai getting sent off in the 65th minute Inter Milan 5-2 winners against Benefito with Lukaku getting on the score sheet in the very first minute of the game he also bad another one as well as Giga Gagalin Dini, Hick, Meyer, and Martinez. For Benevito, it was Lap. Lap Wee with both of the goals. So, those were all the games. So, how did we get on? I can say that I did the best from this match day predictions with Atalanta, Benevito, Lazio, AC Milan, Bologna, Spiza, and Inter Milan to all win their matches. And I accumulated 15.68 this time around, so pretty impressive stuff. And second place, the football simulator, picking up 10.07, with 
with Lazio to win, Verona, Napoli, Inter Milan, as well as Juventus to only get a draw out of the game. And Tom O came in third place there, 9.9. Inter Milan, Spiza, Inter Milan, and Atalanta to win their matches. So the overall leaderboard now sees me overtaking what was Carvin White on top, but he didn't get involved with this match day additions. So unfortunate, but it's not too late to pick up the slack and get back into it and you can easily climb up the leaderboard. So I'm on top now with 20.21. The football estimators second place 16.51. Tom in third place 9.9 .9, and Carvin White in fourth 7.87. .7. So let's see who gets involved this time with these 10 matches. Or should I say nine games, because it seems like the Genoa Torino game is not going to happen with the 14 cases at in Genoa with the COVID thing going on. So and there was also talk about a possible two week suspension as well too, with the international break coming up. Um I wouldn't think things too much, but any postponements will be a big hindrance because we're really late to start the season as well too, and you just want to keep on moving. So first up, we have Florentina taking on Sampdoria. Head team record since 2005, using the Fuzzball Wet Point website there. Sees Florentina with 11 wins, to Sampdoria's 6 wins, also been 11 draws. Florentina 2 wins and 2 draws in the past 4 games. And they are the favourites here at $1.67. 375 for the draw, and 450 for Sampdoria. I'm going to go for Florentina to pick up a 2 0 win. The football estimator sees a 1 0 win for Florentina. Sassuolo's opponents are Quoton. 7 wins for Sassuolo, 3 wins for Quoton, and 2 draws. 2 wins each in the draw in the past 5 games. $1.36 for Sassuolo, 4 50 for the draw, and 7 bucks for Quoton. I think Quoton are a bit underweighted for this particular game. 7 to 1 odds, pretty decent. They only have to win what 14% of the time to make on the deal and she gets 7 points if you back Quoton to win and they do so I'm going to go for them to win here and pick up a 1-0 win Football Simulator sees a 1-1 draw for this match here now onto the game that won't happen is Genoa against Torino 9 wins for Torino, 6 wins for Genoa and 6 draws Torino winning the past 6 games so no odds for this game, and I'm pretty confident I won't go ahead, but it's still on the particular schedule online there. So in case if it does, for whatever reason, I'm going to go for Torino to pick up a 3-1 win. Football Simulator is going to go 3-1 for Genoa. Next up is Udinese taking on Roma. 22 wins for Roma, 7 wins for Udinese, and 2 draws. 2 wins each in the past 4 games. Udinese, 5 bucks, 3.75 for the draw, and a dollar fifty-seven for Roma. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Football Samantha sees a 2-1 win for Udinese. Atalanta taking on Kagalawi. 11 wins for Atalanta, 10 wins for Kagalawi, and 4 draws. Past six games has seen 3 victories each. Atalanta, huge favourites here, $1.22. dollar twenty-two, five fifty-four the draw, and nine fifty-four for Kagalawi. I find it very difficult to see anything other than Atalanta win, so I am going to go for the big favourites here for a change, and for Atalanta to win 4 goals to 2. Football Simulator sees a 2-1 victory for Atalanta as well. Palmer, the opponents are Verona, 5 wins for Verona, 1 win for Palmer and a draw. Verona, 3 wins and a draw in the past 4 games. 275 for Palmer, 3 bucks for the draw. And 254 for Verona. I'm going to go for Verona. 2 1 winners. Football Simulator sees a 1 1 draw. Benevito taking on Bologna. Just the two wins for Bologna. And that is it. 2017 and 2018 matches there when they were back in the top flight for both clubs. 1 0 and 3 0 victories they were. Benevito, 3 bucks, 350 for the draw, and $2.10 for Bologna. Benevito at home, and they did pick up a pretty reasonably impressive result last time. Around, well, one 
I did manage to win some game. Uh, I'll look back at it. Um, who was? Yeah, 3 2 victory against Sam Dewey on the road. So at home, could pull off a bit of an upset here. So I'm going to go for Benevito to come away 3 0 winners. And the football team is going to go for a 1 1 draw. Big game here between Lazio and Inter Milan. 19 wins for Inter, 12 wins for Lazio, and 5 draws. 3 wins each in the past 6 games. Lazio 288, 360 for the draw, and 210 for Inter Milan. I'm going to go for Lazio, 3 2 winners. Football Simulator sees a 2 0 win for Inter Milan. AC Milan against Spisa. I only have one match here that was back in 2014 in the Coppa Italia with AC Milan coming up on top 3-1 winners. AC Milan, a huge favourite here, the dollar seventeen, six bucks for the draw and 12 bucks for Spisa. Too tempted to grab those 12 points on the offering. And if it does happen, it really have me flying up the charts there. So I'm going to go for Spisa, 1-0 winners. Football Simulator sees a 4-1 win for AC Milan. And last up, another big match, Juventus taking on Napoli. 18 wins for Juventus, 14 wins for Napoli, and 5 draws. Juventus got a 3-2 record in the past 5 games, so a very competitive fixture. It's all at 83 for Juventus, 340 for the draw, 375 for Napoli. Napoli, they did have a poor season last season, but otherwise they're usually right up towards the top of the table, just behind Juventus. I'm going to go for Napoli, they are my Serie A club that I've decided to support. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 Napoli win. And the football simulator is going to go for a 2-2 draw to finish this round of fixtures off. So feel free to get involved, put your predictions down below, check out the other divisions that I do as well too. Hopefully you enjoy the series. If you do, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, also consider subscribing. Cheers.